Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your second half of your September from the 16th to the 30th. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and advice and what else do you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective uh, Gemini people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on um, when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about uh, Gemini in love and the person that they are connecting with. What is going on with Gemini in love and the person that they are connecting with for September, for the second half of their September from the 16th to the 30th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. So we have the King of Pentacles here and the Two of Wands. I don't know. Seems like someone here might be dealing with options. Someone here doesn't really quite know what they're looking for or what they want. I mean, it could be that you're looking for more for the, from this individual, but I feel like this person might not be giving that to you and you could be making a decision to walk away. Yeah, you could be making a decision to walk away. Since this person can't make a decision for you, you're making a decision for them. You're letting them go. You're no longer waiting around for them. You're no longer stressing out over this individual here. Okay? So what's happening? Uh, the hangman, Pisces energy, judgment, Sagittarius energy. What happened? You're, what, what's happening? You're stepping away from this. You're going off to manifest new love on your own here. Okay? You know, I feel like you know you deserve better. You know, you know that you are worth it here. You know, I just feel like you just don't want to be caught up in the confusion and the chaos. So what's happening is I feel like you guys are going off on your own, getting back on your own two feet, you know, just kind of feeling good about yourself, um, ending things uh, with the situation where this person had made you wait, where this person was unsure or uncertain about you. I mean, perhaps you're uncertain and you're walking away. Maybe you're giving this per person, you know, uh, you're doing the right thing by giving this person space or that you're giving this person the opportunity to find someone uh, to uh, find someone that could give them what they're looking for. Yeah, let's see. What else do we have here? So strength card, Leo energy, two of pentacles, ten of swords. What else do we have here for uh, Gemini? What else do we have here for Gemini? The person that Gemini is dealing with, thinking of, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Gemini for the second half of their September? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. We've got a Justice card in the reverse. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. Wow. Some of you guys are looking for a divorce here. So this person's looking to separate or that you could be looking to separate from this individual if you're married to this person. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like you're tired of the disappointments here. I feel like this is your energy that's coming in very strongly. So I feel like this is about you. You know, this is about you doing the right thing for yourself at this time here. Okay. Um, let's see. We have the Four of Wands and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, yeah, I do feel like there was a relationship. There was a connection that's over here. I mean, with the Page of Swords here, you could be dealing with someone here that's really, really, really immature. This person, yeah, we have the World. Ten of Wands. You know, I just feel like you're really overwhelmed by this person's energy because I feel like this person's energies uh, could be very dark, very heavy. Uh, with the with the uh devil card here you know i feel like there's a sense that this connection is not really moving forward it's not really going anywhere you know you could be in this energy of feeling like you know you're better off by yourself you know you're better off um on your own um you know this could be this could also be a same-sex couple it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be 
Uh, could be a situation you might be dealing with someone here for the um you know those heterosexual couples the straight couples you could be dealing with a partner where this person might be interested in the same sex or that they're bisexual you know sometimes the knight of swords and the justice card is an indication to me that someone here might be coming out of the closet or something like that knight of swords and the eight of cups and definitely some sort of third party situation yeah Definitely some sort of third party situation here. What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know? Look out for work on for the second half of September from the 16th to the 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. For Gemini. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups and the Moon, Cancer, Pisces. Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. And the Lovers and the Five of Wands. There's just a lot of conflict in this connection. I feel like someone here is definitely dreaming about the, uh, someone. Definitely dreaming about their wish fulfillment here. Yeah, with the Death card and the Hierophant, I just feel like you're doing the right thing for yourself here by ending this connection. You know, this could be indication that once you step away from this person, you know, I feel like you might be really happy here. It seems like, you know, this, you know, I feel like this person's definitely testing you or that you're feeling, feeling like you're being tested here or that this person's being tested too. I don't, I don't feel like this person's being tested, but that definitely something is manifesting out of this person. And I feel like this person's trying to go out there and explore. Five of Pentacles. We have a Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I, 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 do, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like this person is definitely like going to push your boundaries here or break your boundaries. If you're, if you're like, you know what, I don't want to talk to you anymore. This is over. I do feel like this person is definitely going to, you know, surprise you with some sort of communication here. Uh, tell me about the uh, lovers. We have the seven of pentacles, the five of wands, and the ace of swords. Four of swords. I, I feel like this person is definitely trying to make peace with you. You know, uh, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person is ready to change or that this person is ready to give you what you want, but it might be too late here, Gemini. It might be too late. Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Empress. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Someone here is ready to, to change. Someone here is ready to change. Someone here is ready to give you what you want. I mean, if this is a divorce here, I feel like this person is not really on board with us. But um, yeah, but you, I mean, at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you, right, Gemini? So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.